I personally don't think it's, it's the right thing to do. I, I think they need to get the the local railways and the um, the existing railways up to scratch. I think it's an excellent venture. It should go ahead. Not really. Uh, I've heard there's a lot of environmental impact on the whole project um, from what I've read on the news and what I've seen on the news. It is an awful lot of money, but yeah, they should have done it a long time ago. Well, personally, I don't think it is just a fact. It's an awful lot of money to spend when we need to have money spent on the East Coast main line. Perfectly good line from Scotland right away down to London. I think they need to get the local trains and things sorted out before they start doing huge great bigs, ploughing all the money into the, the big structures. I do think that the money which will inevitably be raised from it should be put back towards helping the environment. There again, we're saying about like the NHS is needed so much money, so it's a uh, half should be really one and half to the It would help in terms of like transport links and just improving that in general, like in terms of getting to where you want to go and I know like Birmingham and London is like probably the closest in terms of like getting there. But again, I do think there's a lot of implications that haven't been addressed. In general, I just don't see the point. Invest in rolling stock, make sure they're clean, efficient, safe, uh, obviously all the modern Wi-Fi connections and things like that. I understand it's going to be going through a lot of countryside and um, ruining a lot of habitats, so I'm not very happy about that. Transport in general, it's our transport system is lagging miles behind other, other countries. I mean, it could be spent on other things, but if that's the dead set on spending it, then we can't really change the mind, can we?